Hey all, it's Hunter. In this video, I'm excited to show you how we've made adding search to your Framer site as easy as dropping in a component. Let's get started by adding search to this template from Benjamin. If we go to the insert menu and go to the interactive section, we'll find search. If we drag that into our site, that is actually it. We've just added site search to our Framer site. Let's publish our website and see how the searching feels. Then I'll show you how to customize it and get the most out of your search experience. If you go to the publish menu, we'll want to hit update and we'll want to wait until the optimization process is finished because that's when Framer generates an index for our site to prepare it for searching. Once our site is done optimizing, we can open it up and give searching a try. If we click the search icon, you'll see we have animations built right in by default, and we can start searching right away. And one of the best parts about site search is just how fast it is. It instantly searches text across your entire Framer site, whether it comes from body copy, headings, page titles, or page descriptions, we'll be able to find what we're looking for. Now let's look at some of the customization options that are available with site search. Let's start by taking a look at the scope control. So with our current setup, Site Search allows you to search all the pages on your site. But let's say you only want to search one part of your site or a single CMS collection. This is something we do on framer.com slash templates. This is where the scope control comes in handy. So if we open the scope control, we can select any path of our website that we want to scope the search to. So in this case, it could be blog. So let's say we don't want the about page showing up on our search and we only want to search the blog. If we go here and select the blog collection and we go ahead and publish our site, we can see that it only searches the blog collection. However, you may notice that all our results have the same subtitle. This is because our subtitle is set as the description of the page. If you spend the time to improve your title and description, it'll be great for your search results and your SEO. You may be wondering how to make the search look like your own. We've got tons of customization options from colors to fonts to animations that you can customize to make it fit into your site. The customization options are organized by which part of the search you're trying to customize. Top level, you'll find the options for the search button on the canvas itself, where you can change things like the icon size or add your own custom icon. So to update the fonts, I want to update the fonts in input, as well as the fonts within the results for the title and the subtitles. In the subtitle options, you can also change from displaying the description of a page to the URLs, which I'll change now. Within the modal options, you can change the layout of your entire search window to be a sidebar or a fixed top bar. This gives you a ton of flexibility to fit your site's designs. I think I've tweaked it just right for my site, but I'm gonna add one more final touch. I'm actually gonna make the height animate when the results change. This option just adds a nice little extra springiness to your search experience. Checking out search on our live site is feeling great. These are just a few of the many customization options for search, and we're really curious to see what you all do with it. Thanks for watching and happy searching.